there let's talk about cell division of meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 so uh, by definition meiosis is simply the type of nuclear division that reduces the number of chromosomes from diploid number to haploid number meiosis is simply the type of nuclear division that reduces the number of chromosomes from the diploid number to haploid number so diploid number is simply the total number of chromosomes in somatic cells and in humans it is about 46 and haploid number is simply the number of chromosomes in gametes such as sperm and ovum and it is about 23 so nuclear this meiosis is simply the cell division which reduces this uh, diploid number which is 46 to 23 and it is divided into two parts there is meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 so meiosis 1 is further divided into four phases it is further divided into four phases which are prophase 1 metaphase 1 anaphase 1 and telophase 1 but in this video i'm going to discuss about uh, prophase 1 what happens under prophase 1 and in other preceding videos we are going to see what happens to metaphase 1 anaphase 1 and telophase 1 so under prophase 1 what happens so prophase 1 what you should know is that it occupies almost uh, more than half the time taken for meiosis so it occupies more than half of the time taken for meiosis and it is further divided into five sequential stages it is divided into five sequential stages which are leptoten zygoten uh, pekaiten, diploten, and diakinesis. So those are the stages that are involved under prophase 1. So let's see what happens under leptoten. And then from there, we're going to see what happens under zygoten, then pekaiten, diploten, and lastly, diakinesis of prophase 1. So under leptoten, what happens is that the sister chromatids of the duplicated chromosomes condense into long, thin strands clearly visible within the nucleus. So the strands clearly visible within the nucleus. Okay, and then from there, the nucleolus disappears. The nucleolus disappears and the centrosomes appears. So the nucleolus is simply the dark organelle that uh, that is found in the nucleus. And the centrosomes, this is where the spindle fibers emerges. Okay, so this is the picture which summarizes what happens under leptoten. We can see the centrosomes are there, have appeared and the chromosomes are condensed and they are clearly visible. So let's see what happens under the zygoten, zygoten process, process of prophase 1. So what happens under zygoten is that the homologous chromosomes are paired. The homologous pro chromosomes are paired and this process is called synapsis. So synapsis is the process which takes place under zygoten. So the pairing of homologous chromosomes is called synapsis and then this process forms what we call the bivalent the bivalent is simply a paired homologous chromosome is called a bivalent so that's what happens under the digoten process of prophase one so as you can see in this picture here this structure which is here the, uh, which is made up of paired homologous chromosomes is what we call a bivalent and in this cell here, we can see threads like structure which have hold these two chromosomes together. And that those threads like structure are called uh, sneptonemial complex. Sneptonemial complex. So pairing of homologous chromosomes happens or takes place under the zygoten process of prophase 1. Then from there, I have what we call picaten picaten process of prophase 1 what happens so this process or this stage begins when synapsis is complete when synapsis is complete picaten takes place so 
just after the cyptonemial complex is formed. So a cyptonemial complex, we said that threads-like structure which holds two sister, two homologous chromosomes together. So those are what we call the synaptonemial complex. So just after these threads holds these two sister chromatids together, then the pycitin process takes place. So what happens under pycitin is that is that the chromosomes condense further and become distinct shorter and thicker then from there the chrome, uh, crossing over takes place but what is crossing over so crossing over is simply the process that involves complex series of events in which dna segments are exchanged between non-sister or sister chromatids so crossing over is simply the process that involves complex series of events in which DNA segments are exchanged between non-sister or sister chromatids. So that's what crossing over is. So the chitin process involves the formation of a tetrad, which is uh, held by synaptonemia complex which are the threads which holds the, uh, the chromosomes together, forming a bivalent, and the centrosomes also have already been imaged. Then from there, we have what we call the diplot diplotin process of prophase 1. So the diplotin process involves the degradation of uh, the synaptonemia complex degrades, so it disappears. Or it degrades and then from there homologous chromosomes separate from each other except at, at what we call the chiasmata so the chiasmata is where the region where two chromosomes are held together the region where the two chromosomes are attached after the synaptonemia complex has degraded now that region is what we call the chiasmata and then from there, what happens under diplotin is that the, uh, the chromosomes decondense, decondense and become very active in transcription. It becomes very active in transcription. And then from there, let's see what happens here is that under diplotin, we say it, the septonemia complex de degrades as you can see these two chromosomes there are now free but they are held they are still attached at what we call the chiasmata that there that's where they are still be they are still held together but the synaptonemia complex has been degraded inside there so that's what happens under diplotin then from there the process that follows after diplotin is diakinesis. So during diakinesis, this chiasma moves toward the end of the chromosomes due to the construction of the chromosomes. Now during this process, uh, the chromosomes contract. They contract, moving this chiasma away, meaning they terminate, which means they separate and become free. So this process of uh, chromosomes contracting, moving the chiasma away is what we call termination. The process is called termination. After that, under dikinesis, the nuclear, nuclear membrane disappear. The nuclear membrane disappear and the spindle fibers are formed, starts to emerge from the centrosomes. So the centrosomes are here, these regions there, and the spindle fibers starts to appear. These are threads like structure which holds the chromosomes during metaphase, spindle fibers, starts to emerge, and the chiasma is being moved away the process called termination. So in summary, we can say prophase one involves 
five stages which are leptotain, zygotain, pecaitin, diplotin, and diakinesis. And the main event which takes place under leptotain is that chromosomes condense and centrosomes appear. Then from there, during zygotain, the bivalents are formed, which is the complex of uh, two paired homologous chromosomes bivalent are formed and during pecaitin the crossing over process takes place and during the diplotin chromosomes decondense and they become very active in transcription transcription so that's what happens under diplotin and diakinesis is simply uh, the process which takes place here is that termination takes place and spindle fibers starts to emerge. So thank you very much for watching this video. Remember, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave out your comment concerning this video in the comment section below.